All right, what's on the bench? Uh, I found some PC boards online. So I was uh, going to do a project. I, I, I still will do the project, but I was going to do a project for uh, my MMICs um, uh, that I received. And I was going to do a PC board. And um, I thought that maybe somebody else had done a PC board in China. I, I remember testing some parts a long time ago that were mimic-based amplifiers and stuff, and I thought maybe I'd get one of those or something. Anyway, and I ran across these, and uh, these are, I'll show some closer pictures later. Um, these are from uh, this fellow, WA5VJB, and as it turns out, I've had a few of his other things before. He does some antennas, and uh, I remember doing this uh, Yagi antenna that he did. And I think I've did, I did the log periodic that he did. Uh, there are some other ones, but he does, um, he does some uh, Mimic uh, uh, PC boards. So I ordered some and they were $11. And I, I thought that I only got five, but I actually got five of each. So there's two different kinds. One has a layout for an SMA connector, and then one just has a layout for a coax that you can just put on. So, so these are nice little devices for preamps in radios and stuff, so you can add a, add a preamp. So that's what, that's what he did here. Now, um, they're, they're, they're double-sided. They have a, a, a solid copper, so they're a microstrip design. And... Um, it has the same type of footprint. Now these don't have the hole in the PC board. So the later Mimics had a, a, a gullwing uh, type of lead that didn't require a hole in the PC board. Whereas the old style kind of required a hole in the PC board, which is the ones that I have. So anyway, like I said, I'll probably lay out my own board, but since these were available, I thought I'd buy them. Now, one of the disadvantages of these, other than that they're not laid out for the part I've got, is that there's no solder mask, and there's not you no know, solder screen as well, and these are 0603 parts, so I think they're going to be a challenge to put on the board. But anyway, it was worth the money just to try to experiment. So I don't have a lot of 0603 parts, and so uh, in fact, this is the only this is the only selection of resistors that I have in 0603. So not not a very big re big selection, but you know enough to do certain things. I did go to the store and buy bought some uh, different different value resistors because you, you have to load the mimic you have to have a certain current into them to make them work right um and uh these are laid out let me show you a close-up here so they do have a bias t network uh it looks like you can put an inductor and a and a resistor, and then there's some bypassing, there's another capacitor, and then some other resistors, and other capacitors, and so it's got a lot of stuff in it. Don't know if you need all that stuff, but yeah, it's all in there. So, all right, so um, if you read the data sheets for the mimics, the inductor in the bias T network it says it's optional. And I thought, okay, well, I, I don't, Maybe just to play with them, I don't need it, but it'd be nice to have. So at the store, they had uh, these things. These are uh, labeled as 60 ohms, one amp. So what are they? Um, they are, a little board that I was playing with here, they are. They are little things you probably can't see. <laughs> yep, <laughs> they're right there. Uh, they're a ferrite bead. And I thought, oh, that's cool. I could put a ferrite bead in. Now, what, what does 60 ohms mean to for, six, for a, a ferrite bead? Um, so let's measure them. I love this thing. You should get one. Uh, let's see here. Let's go to uh, resistance. All right. And we... We will measure the resistance of this thing. And, oh, oh no, I just flicked it across the room because I was trying to put it under the camera. Ah, uh, oh well, there goes one of them. Maybe I'll find it. 
let's get out let's get out another one here and let's try to get this all on camera and not flick it across the room you guys are always a pain in the butt you know this is a lot easier if i didn't have to film it all right so there we go uh, so the resistance is 44 milliohms, so certainly not 60 ohms, right? Let me put this in back so I don't lose him. Uh, they're only 10 cents each, but still. <laughs> um, yeah, 60 ohms. So what does 60 ohms mean? 60 ohms must be at some particular frequency. So I don't know how ferrite beads are uh, classified. But anyway, at some frequency, these end up being 60 ohms. I don't know what that frequency is. But anyway, I'm going to put one of those in there anyway just to kill any kind of oscillation or anything. So we'll have one of those. And then I did buy some uh, some capacitors, one microfarad, 0 0.33, 0 0.1, 0 0.01. So I've got a good selection of those. And uh, these are not 0603s down here, although I think these are. Yeah, check these out. So these are, these, uh, these little boxes here don't always open up on there. There we go. Uh, so these guys are just little um, little capacitors. I got these uh, for a dollar, so I had to have those. Um, and these guys were a dollar too. But check these guys out. They are kind of chubby 0603s. They're kind of bordering on an 0805, but they're 0603s. And uh, they are 20 microfarads. <laughs> yeah, they measure about 17, 18. Um, but at 16 volt, yeah, that's pretty cool. So I like these. So I'm going to kind of use those up too. But see, for something like this, I, I only have room for a small capacitor. And I could put that 20 microfarad in there. So that would be super interesting. All right. So I say I'm going to try to build one of these. Um, I'm going to do it off camera because it's going to be way too finicky. And I'm going to flick things across the little room like I just did. And... Uh, I will try to take one of my mimics and make uh, make a gull wing out of it. I'll try to press the uh, leads into a gull wing shape and put it on the board. Now, like I said, I don't have a stencil for this, and there's no silk screen for this. So the solder mat, the uh, uh, solder paste is going to just go bleh everywhere. So I don't know if I want to put this in the oven or I want to do them by hand. I think I want to do them by hand, one at a time. I th otherwise, I think this thing's just going to get away from me. Um, when I do my own, I'm going to do a stencil so everything will work out great. Because in the past, I've had lots of problems with 0603s, um, and maybe a stencil is the key. Anyway, that's what I'm up to today. <laughs>